up guys so today I'm gonna show you how to make a um, chain physics effect with a rigid body 2d and a hinge joint 2d like you saw in the beginning of the video so to start off what you need for um, to create this chain is you will need a chain link or chain links different chain links uh, we're just gonna use one <clears throat> and you also just need a an object that you're gonna attach a rigid body 2d to and make kinematic so you can actually attach the first link so to get started the first thing you want to do is create an empty uh, game object and we're just gonna call this tutorial holder um, just so you have uh, just an empty game object to hold all the other game objects so the second thing you want to do is um, me I'm just gonna use some random stone tile and we're gonna put this into the tutorial holder and we're gonna give the stone tile a rigid body 2d and we're not gonna keep it dynamic we're gonna make it kinematic so it doesn't just fall down through the world or onto the ground um, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go grab our chains and you're actually gonna create the first link so you're gonna put that right there because of the way this is shaped I'm actually gonna add a capsule collider 2d just for the collision and then we're going to add a hinge joint 2d so what you want to do with a hinge joint is you want to move not the connected anchor but the actual anchor on the y-axis and move it just kind of so it touches the rigid body of uh, our little uh, block right here so should probably be about half so 0 0.49 or so okay 0 0.5 and then what you also need to do I almost forgot is move this into the holder I hope I didn't screw this up um, you're gonna move this also into the holder and then you're gonna see the connected rigid body for the hinge joint on the link you're gonna need to connect whatever object you use that has the kinematic rigid body and you're gonna select your first link and then drag your other kinematic rigid body to the object in here so it knows it's connected to this object to begin with and then basically what you're gonna do next is click up here control C control V copy this move it in here about right here um whoop, 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 wrong one you're gonna offset the hinge joint just by a little bit because it's not the same distance uh here with these two then compared to these two and then because you copied and pasted you're still gonna have your block in your second chain link under the connected rigid body so all you gotta do is select your second link the one down here and then drag and drop the first link into the connection connected rigid body you select your second link again control C control V basically copy and paste move it right in here it should already have the same distance and then same thing now you're gonna take your second link and drag and drop it into the third links connected rigid body let's see we're gonna do this one more time control C control V move it down now you're gonna drag the second one into the connected rigid body and you know what just for good measure we're gonna do it one more time just so I can show you the effect on the bottom and again you drag your third or fourth one in this case into here and then we're gonna click play So when you hit this, it should actually now move how we want it to move. There you go. So you have created a perfect chain that also has the effect of a chain. And it's not just a static rope moving around. And now to do the other part, you can do this with anything, you know, to get something that you can stand on and then move around, etc. So in my case, just to mess around, I used the chandelier. Let's see. That did not have uh, flames on it. I use the holder. I move it up here. 
for the platform I'm actually going to do sorting layer world object so it's behind my platforms and just really quick I'm gonna test out if it still works okay yep still works chain still works so then what you want to do um, oops I'm about selected the torches just move this over here a little bit into the middle you want to drag whatever other object you want in this case this is huge but who cares gonna go on my custom top palette my brush delete these on the bottom here for a second all right so you're gonna want to select whatever item you you know let's say you want like the chandelier in my case or whatever you want connected to your last link that you can kind of swing around on um, move it right in here and then you're gonna add a in this case we're just gonna add a box collider 2d we're gonna decrease the y size offset it to down here we're gonna decrease it a little bit more offset it to right about here so you can kind of stand on it you're also gonna add another hinge joint 2d and what you see is when you click on hinge joint 2d it actually automatically gives you the rigid body 2d so for our hinge joint in this case we're gonna zoom in um let's see where the chain is okay so the chain is up here you want to offset your anchor again connected to the original body of your last chain link <coughs> and then for the connected rigid body you want to take your last chain link drag and drop it in here and then for your chandelier whatever object you put down here you are going to want to increase the mass and the reason why is I'm going to show you so if you leave the mass at one basically has not a lot of mass and this is never going to work you know if you jump on it it's just going to like instantly fall and you die so if you increase the mass of your bottom object the last object to let's say five you will notice a um, significant difference see when you jump on it and now you can actually kind of move it around, around, and wait, oh, I can't jump. And the reason why I can't jump, why is that? It's because I did not select my ground layer. And within my code, I actually selected that you can jump when you hit the ground, so now you can jump. And that is how I basically created a chain link with a chandelier. I can overcome larger obstacles and I'm gonna mess around with this and create some new stuff as well. I hope uh, this video helped you create something or I hope you can I hope you can build off of what I showed you here. I'm really just starting to make videos of new stuff that I learned. So if you enjoyed this video, like my video, subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you!